Hey, what's up, y'all? It is Red Infamy, your master geekress. And with this unboxing, the Red Infamous unboxings, we are doing a backlog edition. Yes, your backlog queen is doing a backlog edition. So with this one, is going to be Assassin's Creed Origins, which is really, um, really has been added as one of my favorite games that I've played this generation, I should say. Uh, of open world titles is my very first Assassin's Creed I've ever played and what got me uh, involved to want to play it was that they had got historically correct the real Egyptians um, during the time during the ancient time so this is the gods edition I did not get a chance to unbox this during um, various circumstances during that time but now's the time all right so i'm excited remember i was saying i didn't have enough melanin on, um, on my dresser where i have like a lot of my collective editions so bayak really dope story if you have not played assassin's creed origins you need to play like if you never played assassin's creed period that's a great entry assassin's creed to play because it is giving you how the whole brotherhood or assassin assassins assassins came about so let's get into the details of the collector's box okay no pause so there go the crest right there the egyptian assassin's crest um we have different size these are different villains too that you're going to kind of play against and then this is letting you know the contents of what is inside so to read that you do get the deluxe edition um you get the collector's box official soundtrack bayek fi uh, figurine uh have the map and you have an art book. And one thing that I wanted to know is if this came with the season pass. If it doesn't, I'll just go and get it. Because I do want to play that. Because that that was one of my favorite games during that time to play. Because I did play it in time. Was I think I was a couple of months off, but I was able to play it in time. Was Assassin's Creed. I think I had streamed it as well. So we're gonna open this up. And yeah, I do have more collector's editions. Got my skinny knife. That's out too. Now the tipsy geek. <laughs> Make sure y'all check out his video uh, on the Ghost of Tsushima drink. As our geek in-house mixologist at Geek Game Tight. And let's take the drawers in drawers so it has the same thing but it's not glossy sorry if i'm not in the camera as much it's not as glossy as it but it's a really dope collector's box uh if you're an assassin's creed fan or if you're a new one i know tipsy geek is gonna be a little jealous because he loves assassin's creed too he loves assassin well he loves assassin's creed period i'm not a Big Assassin's Creed fan. I just really loved what they did for Origins, and I really want to play Odyssey too. Wow. Okay. So, oh, this is dope. So, it has, even if you wanted to have him on your stick, this box like this is pretty cool. So, there goes some hieroglyphics right here. On the side is as such, and it has this kind of retail effect going on i'm sorry that i'm not correctly that's dope yo yeah they just have something like this is just pretty dope just to have like that and have the figure like i mentioned now Wait to have it and like i said certain collector's editions like is where i forgot how much this was i thought this was like 107 
my mistake. I forgot the price. But I love how this is like a sliding, yeah, it slides out as a box. Like packaging is everything. So it slides out just like a drawer. Pretty cool. I had um I had the digital version because Amazon messed up on <laughs> sending it to me uh, in a quick time and I didn't get that. So I think this does not it doesn't have book just I'm pretty upset now I want to get a customized steel book because of that so this is the soundtrack there this of course is the map I've right. Probably bad with. I think my whole green screen is about to get jacked up with this. <laughs> this is a map of it. And it is getting jacked up. Sorry. It's hieroglyphics. Back. Mm. I don't think you get the season pass in this. That's something that is kind of weird because a lot of times with Ubisoft games, you do get the season pass with a collector's edition or like the deluxe something uh, and then a steel book. But this did not come with a steel book. And I'm really excited. Okay. I do get, bless you, I do get a cool figure. So this is the, the art book. Cobra in the back. And, uh, this says Assassin's, uh, Assassin's Creed Origins um, art book. Like I always do try to kind of skip some stuff, but I'm not showing the entire book. It's too much. That's how I look. Um, Sorry. That's that's like that's the gift of doing the back of Andrea. Yeah. I don't know if they had some other concepts of Cleopatra. Isa in Memphis. I don't know if this is Fayum or Fayum. I wanted to see if they had like other concepts. They have a lot of the art is the landscape of the game, which I need to see on my new. Because oh, I play Assassin's Creed on a freaking games case. Oh, because at that time I didn't have a TV. Girl has come a long way, <laughs> all right? Um, that's the art book. Ooh, the Lux, I'm being clumsy already, the deluxe edition. Like I mentioned, I have the digital version because Amazon sent me, they did a great job. They sent me, it was like, hey, we know you want to get this on release date. We're going to give you the Lux code. I was like, wow. So this comes with a pre-order shin bonus. I thought it came with season pass. Like nah, sis. I buy that season pass. Yo, that's what I get the season pass when it'll be online again. Um, no one has. 
someone has Assassin's Creed Origins, and I don't know, I might give this code because I already had. Oh, this code is tight. <laughs> this code expired. Uh, which is a shame. The code expired. I don't know. Maybe it did. It did. last year and of course that's how the CD looks so let's get to the main star 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 I can't talk what's going on star of the mall which is Bayek like if y'all haven't played Origins you definitely gotta play Origins it attracted me because I got to see black people <laughs> historical true light instead of uh showing the false of how egyptians were or looked in the past they always would make them like they were greek looking <laughs> i'm like they were black <laughs> dark again all right they had them as like greek looking white all kind of stuff now with cleopatra he was half, so I don't. <laughs> was light. I think her father was Greek, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm not. So. Maybe be careful, because I'll be jacking my statues up. Like, for real. Bad. My focus would be actually kind of shaky. Look at this. Yo, let me just take a look at the detail. Wow. He has my brother's nose. Oh, I forgot. Wow, oh, this is amazing. Oh, wow. The lion's head. Look at this detail, though. Let me show you. Face. Let me bring it back up. This face. Focus. Kind of mysterious as it's supposed to be. But it's very fine detail to his face. And sandal wearing design. Not oh, sorry. Shield. Even have his tattoos. Agile, pressed, armband right there, uh, and even like underneath the flaps is still more detail, like his foot in that crevice of the statue, and then his bow and arrow actually has uh, a string for his bow. The string is a little flaccid, but you know. Oh, <laughs> limp, limp. But we can fix that. Oh, it's not that important. But yeah, this was this was amazing. Like I really wanted to get this collector's edition. Like I mentioned, there's a lot of statues that are not of any dark pigmented or black descent, uh, African descent uh, characters. You rarely get them. Uh, which is it's a shame. Uh, what I really want to get is the Battlefield 1, uh, that collector's edition. They're just selling the statue. I really want to get that. But, yo, this detail is really, really dope. One day I'll grow up and be like you know, King David and, um, <laughs> and get on his level of freaking statue. Shouts out to the Lord podcast. 
One day I'll get on his um, statue. He's bald. As he says, he can afford the $15 game pass with no, without being scared. Uh, but yeah, statues. I want to collect more statues. Uh, just statues alone. But I always wanted a place to put them. A really cool place and show them off. So soon I will have that. And yeah, y'all. This is the God's... Uh, collector's edition, the God's edition, as what they call it. Uh, so it came with Bayek, of course. I forgot how many inches the statue is. It came with a really cool box with the background. Here, let's say if you had just him just chilling like so, you can have it as such. And just have it just sit right there, just like that. I think I may do. If I can do this without being clumsy. Pulls out. Contents. Game and the soundtrack and stuff. So one thing I will say, uh, rating this, the box is of course of great quality, but a lot of people would like more things for their collector's editions. I would have loved a steel book because a lot of times these collector's editions are over a hundred dollars and we will want more than just a soundtrack, you know? And of course more than an art book. Like a steel book would have been dope. Even other like a pen, like if there was like a pen set and such, I do have a big uh actual pen from Fig Pen. Uh but yeah, I felt like it could have been a little more, but I do love the details of the statue. Um, and I thought the box was creative to make it more of one use of just looking at just the box. I actually can have the box be practical and put it somewhere on a, on a, a shelf or some type of, within like your display case. And I have to figure out that map. Going with the map. And this is how it looks. The box itself, the collector's box. See the crocodile. Oh, that's the alligator. Hey okay, y'all, so that concludes my unboxing of the gods edition of the collector's edition which was the main collector i think there was actually another one but uh i would say this would be recommended for sure for any assassin's creed collectors the the statue is very well put together a lot of detail um the art book is showing mostly of the landscape i would have loved to see more concept art of the characters but other than that i would recommend it I loved it, and I hope you all did too. And I will catch you all later on the next collector's edition or the backlog edition of the collector's editions that I do with, red, with the Red Infamous unboxings. I think the next one I have up, I know I have um, Persona collector's edition. Um, as far as Tekken, I never did an unboxing of Tekken, but I already unboxed it. But I don't mind showing off the Tekken. Uh, let me know if y'all would want to see that Tekken uh, collector's edition that I have and what I thought about it. Um, and then I have, I think, some other ones too that I haven't really showcased. But I will check you all out later. And thanks so much for watching. Um, please be sure to go to geekgametight.com. It will be at the end of this video. And also check out some of our previous videos that we did before. Uh, I do have um, sides unboxing, some reaction videos. Uh, I didn't know y'all would love for me to do those, so I'm going to start doing those. I was just looking at some of the analytics, and I was like, wow, okay, cool. Um, and what else I wanted to announce? We are on social media as far as with Geek Game Tight content. Uh, there's different writers that have their cool stuff to show off. Remember the Tipsy Geek that we... Uh, showed you as well. If you would like us to do an Assassin's Creed type of Egyptian, ancient Egyptian drink, 
uh let us know in the comment below with that and yeah just stay tuned for more content whatever content you would love to see from me or any of my crew just let us know in the comments below and what was your favorite moment in assassin's creed or when you got to see uh the first black character in the whole assassin's creed uh franchise just let us know so check you all out later love y'all peace